Canada. I'm managing a micro multinational uh, consulting company. We have five consultants and working in uh, France, Europe, UK, US, uh, and Asia in, in Singapore as well. We are specialized in uh, copywriting innovation and working with uh, startups and on the uh, other part of the scales with blue chip companies and large groups like uh, Gemalto, EA, DS, uh, Pfizer, and uh, some others. Uh, what we do actually is cross-cultural innovation. We uh, teach to a uh, huge company how to manage uh, fast-growing, fast-scale innovation, and we teach as well to small startups, uh, beginners uh, in entrepreneurship, how to scale up and ramp up uh, quickly and pretty fast. What I will speak about today at Le Camping in Paris is business model innovation. So it's a little bit tricky because uh, everyone knows about innovation or at least believe to know what is innovation. Uh, usually it's pretty much not the case. Um, and uh, everybody knows about business models. And again, it's not the case. So you put the two together and it's quite a mess. Um, the idea behind working on business model innovation is not to stop only at technical innovation and try to really get what the customers and the market wants in terms of added value, uh, may it be perceived added value or real hardcore technical added value. So we'll talk about the, the freemium business model which is quite complex, very counterintuitive, and uh, it's a business model that allows a lot of startups to make huge mistakes in terms of uh, income, forecast, and management. So more precisely, uh, today we will talk about business model innovation. Um, and to explain business model innovation, we have to uh, understand basically what is a business model and what is innovation. So we'll start with innovation, explaining that usually uh, innovation, that there are a lot of ways to uh, understand it and, and measure it. Most of the VCs or the BAs uh, understand innovation with the market axis. Uh, will the market understand what you are going to do? and the uh, product uh, technological uh, axis. Will you be able to pull it off? Will you be able to create this product? You can navigate a little bit in between, and if you are really cocky, you want to try uh, to go for rupture innovation, where the market doesn't understand what you are doing, and you are pretty sure that you won't be able to create the product, uh, which is a good way to fail, but it's very sexy in terms of uh, business school uh, teaching. <laughs> Startups want to be in, a, uh, in an average zone where they uh, take a lot of risk, uh, much more than uh, typical companies, of course, that will just do incremental innovation, but they don't want to die because they are so innovative that no one will, uh, will fund them and that they don't know what they are doing. So with this definition of innovation, we will talk now uh, about the, the business model part and trying to uh, propose a way to explain a business model uh, to the guys that are working with you, uh, what you are thinking about in terms of uh, um, monetization, distribution, uh, partnership, what will be the product portfolio in uh, two, three, five years, and how, of course, you will be able to use that to pitch your business and explain it to potential investors. At the, at the core, at the earth of the business model, you really, really want to get a good grasp on what is your added value. What do you bring to the market that the market will come and, and seize and, and try to grab? The product may change, the way you sell it, the way you communicate on it may change a lot, especially if you're a startup. But your core added value is one of the most important things that you have to uh, get right as fast as possible. And if you get it right, you can then make a few, many sometimes mistakes and pivot around this added value. So you expected that the added value would be this product. It's not this product. It doesn't work. Then you will change and try to go on the market in another way. So innovation, business models, and how to pivot around uh, the uh, added value. With that in mind, we will explain how you can also innovate your business model 
And let, let's say in a nutshell that a business model is connecting your added value to the market. And in between, you have your core competencies, you have your strategic partnership, you have your products portfolio, you have the way you monetize these products, you have how you communicate to the market, how you distribute to the market, and then, as I said, uh, you connect that to the customers. So this is your business model. On each part of the business model, you can actually innovate. You can innovate the way you monetize, uh, you can go freemium or not, you can do a trial wear, you can uh, make someone else pay, Google, uh, uh, companies that want to uh, pay ads to, uh, uh, to you so that you can uh, deliver for free to the customer. You can uh, change the granularity of your product, meaning that you can sell something that will require a subscription for one year, or you can sell uh, software as a service and you will pay per the minute of usage uh, of the product or per the gigabyte of, of, uh, of the bandwidth that you are uh, using with the customer. So you can do really a lot of uh, things with, with that and with that in mind you can start to innovate in a way that is not only technological, meaning that you won't try to always get a new feature, to get a bigger screen, to get a uh, more powerful chip. Uh, uh, it's not about that anymore. It's really about what you bring to the market and how you connect with it. Monetization, how to innovate your monetization. Uh, it's a very precious tool, uh, very important, and one of the most misunderstood uh, at all. So we will work on that. Uh, again, we'll speak about all the free business model, maybe uh, sponsorship, bundling uh, offers, or going freemium. How it is a tricky business model, how you have to understand what is the long-term value of your paying customers versus the cost of acquiring the customer and the cost of sustaining the offer. Um, and uh, these are not simple metrics. Uh, you can see freemium business model that just stay flat with uh, hundreds, thousands, millions of freeloaders, no one paying for, for that. And some uh, freemium business model that ramp up very fast and really uh, explode in an ok uh, way. Um, so that's all we will see uh, this morning, hopefully. Uh, innovation, non-technical innovation, and added value, business models, business model innovation, sometime on the freemium business model. So here you go.